Hey everybody, welcome to my second review for tonight. Tonight I am going to check out the brand new Veda Panda Cloud 1.9. So this is what it looks like now. They changed some of the graphics here, but it basically is identical to what the old one uh, was. They just changed a couple of things, at least from what I can see. They have, you know, you can look at classifications. You can block certain um, files from running if you want to. So, you know, pretty simple. Got your recycle bin here. Got your status. If you flip it over, you can go to your connection settings, advanced settings. Apparently, in the beta here, everything comes enabled. I don't know if they're going to keep that for the next version or not. But that's interesting. So you have behavior analysis, behavior blocking, background scanning after cache synchronization, and scan for pups. You have your recycle bin, your warnings, and your exclusions. Fairly simple program in your connection settings if you have to use a proxy. So let's see, just to get us a rough idea here of how it looks in RAM usage. Just for the hay of it. It's a very low RAM usage, which is really nice to see. I don't think it's got any other modules, does it? I don't know, it's got that one too. So it's got 10... What, 12, 13 megs? Still fairly low. Definitely low. That's good. So let's open up Internet Explorer here. And we will see what uh, kind of damage we can do or what, uh, what it can stop. You do get a toolbar with this version. It's right here, but we gotta wait for it to load up. It's the first time it's loading up. You can uh, you don't have to install the toolbar when you're installing. You can you don't have to install it at all. So you can just it's an optional thing. So first link, okay, don't see anything there, Don't see anything out of the ordinary. That hasn't been changed. Apparently these links don't want to work anymore. That's alright. We'll just keep going. Let me reopen up Internet Explorer here. looks like my internet isn't working anymore since that first link that is very interesting let me 
see if anything was changed. No, nothing was changed. That is interesting. All right. Well, that didn't take too long to kill it, apparently. Okay, there we go. Okay, finally we got things working. We have to go back to those couple of links. So this one has been blocked blocked for malware or exploits. That would be malware because it's an exe page. Okay, that one was blocked by... But I'm going to disregard and see if Panda blocks it. Yes, it does. That one was blocked by Internet Explorer. That one doesn't work. Okay, that one has been blocked, but it's asking me to restart. We'll do that later. Okay, it looks like that one's doing stuff in the background and got nothing from Panda yet. see it right there. We'll just kill the process for now. Any damage that it was going to do, it should have already done. Okay, that one was blocked. And that one was blocked. So was that one. So it looks like their uh, network or their their web blocker is doing pretty good so far. That's doing a lot of the blocking. Looks like this website isn't working. We will just keep going. I did get a couple of new links at the bottom to test out. It says the program is infected, and they should, and they're going to provide me with a way to clean it. Basically, it's just a restart. blocked. Alright, so now I'm going to do what it wanted me to do, and that is a restart. And I will be back after the restart is done. I'm going to do a full scan using Panda, and we'll see if it finds anything else. So I'll be back with the results when that's done. Alright, so I finished scanning here, and it says it neutralized five things, but they were all in temporary internet files. So that's no big deal, so that means it didn't find anything else. So let me run CCleaner here, and that'll get rid of any of the extra temporary internet files. And then 
once this is done, I'm going to run Malwarebytes, and I will be back with the results from Malwarebytes when that's done. Alright, so Malwarebytes finished scanning, and it found three things. Let's see what it found here. Found a couple of files in a registry key change sitting in uh, app data roaming. So uh, found a couple of tro found three trojans, which is interesting. Well, one of them is a, just a change for this one for the registry key to run this one. I don't see it running right now, but it's still there. So that's kind of interesting. So we're going to remove that. I'm not going to restart because there is no active files in memory. And let's do a scan with Hitman Pro here and we'll see if it finds anything. So I will be right back. Alright guys. So um, Hitman Pro found Panda, a piece of Panda software URL filtering as riskware. And that was actually found by um, Prevex, which is kind of interesting. Um, other than that, didn't find anything else. This is part of Super Anti Spyware Portable that I have. So it uh, seems like it didn't let too many things in, even though some of them were zero day. So what can I say about um, Panda? They, it's still essentially the same thing as it was when it started out. You know, they've made changes and stuff to it, but it's not a full security suite. It's just an antivirus, a p more like a pure antivirus just based in the clouds. So what I would do is, uh, you know, if you wanted to do use Panda, I would definitely put it with something that um, has a really good zero day protection and you know pair it with a really good firewall that has maybe a hips or something like that so that way you can have the best of both worlds that's what I would do so that being said you know um, they're they're getting better and better so that's nice to see so hope you guys enjoyed this review I know it's a little shorter than the rest but there's not much to really talk about when it comes to Panda, you know, maybe we'll see if they do some interesting stuff in the future. If not, that's okay. They're just slowly getting better and better. So that's it for now, and um, I'll talk to everybody later. Take care and have a good night.